Clan MacDougall. Clan MacDougall is a Highland Scottish clan historically based in and around Argyll. The Lord Lion King of Arms, who is the Scottish official with responsibility for regulating heraldry in that country, issuing new grants of coats of arms and serving as the judge of the court of the Lord Lion, recognizes under Scottish law the chief of Clan MacDougall. The MacDougall chiefs share a common ancestry with the chiefs of Clan Donald in descent from Sunald of the 12th century, and thus further of the Viking-born Norse-scale dynasty of House of Avar. In the 13th century the Clan MacDougall, whose chiefs were the original lords of Argyll and later lords of Lorne, was the most powerful clan in the Western Highlands. During the Wars of Scottish Independence, the MacDougalls sided with the clan Cumin, whose chiefs rivaled Robert the Bruce for the Scottish crown, and this resulted in clan battles between the MacDougalls and Bruce. This marked the MacDougalls' fall from power and led to the rise of their relatives, the clan Donald, who had supported Bruce, and also the rise to power of the clan Campbell, who were the habitual enemies of the MacDougalls and clan Donald. The MacDougalls supported the House of Stuart during the Scottish Civil War of the 17th century and during the Jacobite Risings of the 18th century. History Origins The clan MacDougall takes its name from Dougal, the son of Sumald. After Sumald's death at the Battle of Renfrew in 1164, Dougal held most of Argyll as well as the islands of Mull, Lismore, Jura, Tyree, Call, and others. The Celtic first name Dougal, or Dugald, is derived from the Gaelic dub Gaul, which means black stranger. Dugal's royal descent was acknowledged by the King of Norway, and Dugal himself was styled as King of the South Isles and Lord of Lorne. One of Dugal's sons seems to have been Ospacher Hakin. A certain son of Dugal was Duncan, who was in turn the father of Ewan. Duncan and Ewan built many castles to defend their territory. These included Dunstaffnage Castle, Dunnally Castle, and Duntroon Castle on the mainland. Whilst on the islands they built Arrows Castle, Cairnburg Castle, Dunchonnell Castle, and Coeffin Castle. Dunnally Castle is believed to have been fortified since the 6th century and became the seat of the chief of Clan MacDougall. Duncan also built Archetton Priory, and it was here that the MacDougall chiefs were buried until 1737. Scottish-Norwegian War Ewan's possessions on the islands were held from the King of Norway, whilst his possessions on the mainland were held from the King of Scotland. This made it hard for him to remain loyal to both. In 1263, Haakon Roman IV of Norway arrived with a huge fleet off the coast of Oban for an invasion of the west coast of Scotland. However, Ewan decided not to join the invasion, and thanks to old blood ties, Haakon left him in peace. The Battle of Largs then took place and Ewan joined the side of Scots and attacked part of the Norse fleet. The Vikings were utterly defeated, and three years later Norway ceded all of the Hebrides to Scotland. Wars of Scottish Independence The MacDougall's influence in Argyll brought them into conflict with the Clan Campbell. In 1294 John MacDougall of Argyll led the Clan MacDougall against the Clan Campbell at the Battle of Red Ford, where Sir Colin Campbell was killed, but there were considerable losses on both sides. The fourth chief of Clan MacDougall married a sister of John Cummin Roman II of Badenoch the Black Cummin, whose son John Cummin Roman III, the Red Cummin, was stabbed to death by Robert the Bruce in the Church of Greyfriars in Dumfries in 1306, and this brought the MacDougalls to conflict with the Bruces. The MacDougalls, who had supported William Wallace in the cause of Scottish independence, now found themselves in a blood feud with the Clan Bruce, whose cause was also of Scottish independence. Shortly after Robert the Bruce's coronation at Scone, he was forced by the English to retreat into Argyll in an attempt to reach his Clan Campbell allies. 
However, the clan MacDougall surprised the Bruce and defeated him in what was known as the Battle of Dalric. The king escaped but left behind what was described as a magnificent example of Celtic jewelry, known as the Brooch of Lorne, and it became one of the clan MacDougall's great treasures. Three years later, Robert the Bruce led 3,000 battle-hardened veterans into Argyll against the MacDougalls. John MacDougall of Lorne set an ambush for them, but in the ensuing battle of the Pass of Brander the MacDougalls were defeated and forced to flee. The MacDougalls' lands were then forfeited by the king, and he gave them to the Campbells for their loyalty. Although the power of the MacDougalls was never regained, their fortunes were restored somewhat under John MacDougall's grandson. In the mid-14th century, the latter relocated from England to Scotland, married a niece of the reigning David Roman II, King of Scotland, and regained the clan's ancestral lands in Lorne. Most of their mainland lands were then returned in a royal charter from David Roman II of Scotland. Although the lordship of Lorne eventually passed into the hands of the Stuarts following John Galda's death, 15th century. In 1468, the clan MacDougall fought against the clan Stuart of Appin at the Battle of Stalk, 17th century, and civil war. During the civil war of the 17th century, the MacDougalls were generally royalists and Chief Alexander Mac. Dougal led 500 of his clansmen into battle. However, after the defeat of the royalist James Graham, first Marquess of Montrose, a Covenanter army, led by David Leslie, Lord New York was sent into Argyll to deal with royalist supporters. The MacDougall's lands were restored, however, after the restoration on the monarchy in 1660. 18th century and Jacobite Risings. During the Jacobite Rising of 1715, the clan MacDougall supported the Jacobite cause and fought at the Battle of Sheriff Muir, after which the chief was forced into exile, but later returned to Scotland to live as a fugitive. He was pardoned in 1727. His son and next chief, Alexander MacDougall did not take part in the Jacobite Rising of 1745. However, his brother and some of the clansmen did indeed fight as Jacobites at the Battle of Culloden in 1746. The fighting force of the clan at this time is given as 200 men. Chief The current chief of the clan is Morag Morley MacDougall of MacDougall and Dunnolly. She is a daughter of the sister of the previous clan chief, Colleen Helen Elizabeth MacDougall of MacDougall and Dunnolly. The latter was in turn a daughter of the previous chief, Alexander James MacDougall of Dunnolly. The chief of clan MacDougall represents the senior line of Sumald's descendants. The chief's coat of arms is blazoned quarterly, first and fourth azure, a lion rampant argent, second and third, or a galley sails furled sable, surmounted of a beacon gules. This coat of arms specifically dates to 1931, and is very similar to one inscribed upon an 18th century tombstone in the chief's Kilbride burial ground. Castles Castles built or owned by the clan Mac Dougal have included, amongst many others, Dunnally Castle near Oban, Argyll. There are now the remains of a strong but ruinous tower and other buildings that are overgrown. The site has actually been fortified since the days of the kings of Dalriata in the 6th and 7th centuries. The present castle was built by the MacDougalls of Lorne. The brooch of Lorne, which is said to have been captured from Robert the Bruce by the MacDougalls, was kept at Dunnally Castle. The castle was attacked by Argyll, chief of Clan Campbell, in 1644, and in 1647 was besieged by a Covenanter army under General David Leslie, in which in the castle was sacked and burnt. During the Jacobite Rising of 1715, the castle was attacked again when the MacDougalls supported the Stuarts, and as a result the lands were forfeited. However, the lands were restored in 1745, 
and in 1746 the MacDougalls built nearby Dunnelly House, although there was an earlier house there dating from about 1600, and the old castle was abandoned. The castle is now in a dangerous condition, but is still owned by the MacDougalls. Dunstaffnage Castle, three and a half miles northeast of Oban, Argyle, is a large courtyard castle with a high curtain wall and later gatehouse range. The kings of Dalryatta also had a stronghold there. The Stone of Scone, or Stone of Destiny, is also said to have been kept at the castle. The present castle was built by the MacDougalls and was besieged by Robert the Bruce after the MacDougalls were defeated at the Battle of the Pass of Brander in 1309. The Bruce then made it a royal castle with the Campbells as the keepers. There is also a chapel nearby that dates from the 13th century. The castle is now in the care of historic Scotland. Gylan Castle, on the south coast of Carrara, is a small tower house that was and still is a property of the MacDougalls. An earlier castle on the site was where Alexander Roman II of Scotland may have died during an expedition to recover the Western Isles in the mid-13th century. The current castle was completed by Duncan MacDougall in 1582. It was, however, torched along with Dunnolly Castle by the Covenanters under General David Leslie in 1647. Cairnburg Castle, on the Treshnish Isles off the Isle of Mull, is a ruinous castle once held by the MacDougalls that passed to the crown with the MacDougalls as keepers in 1309. Dunchonnel Castle, on the Garvalach Isles, is a ruinous castle that was once held by the MacDougalls. Coeffin Castle, on the Isle of Lismore, is a ruinous castle once held by the MacDougalls. Duart Castle on Mull. The castle was probably built by the MacDougalls in the 13th century and came into the possession of the MacLeans in the 14th century. Mingory Castle in Lochaber. The castle may have been built by the MacDougalls in the 13th century. As such, it would appear to exemplify the northern extension of clan's power from the 12th century. Lords. Dugald, son of Sumald. Dugald Screech and Don Chad of Argyll died 1237-1248 and perhaps Osbacher Hacken, sons of Dugald. Eogin Mac Dubgall, son of Dugald, died 1268-1275. Alexander of Argyll, son of Eogin, died 1310-1311, perhaps at Carlisle, married a daughter of John Kamin, driven from Scotland by Robert Bruce and his allies. His sister Mary married Magnus Olafsson, King of Man and the Isles, and on Magnus's death. John of Lorne, son of Alexander, died on pilgrimage to Canterbury. September 1317, enemy of Bruce and Bruce's ally Angus Og of Isla, defeated and driven into exile. Tartans. MacDougall Modern. MacDougall Ancient. MacDougall Dress.